At this point, I want to go ahead and start assembling the, uh, the tips on the legs. Um, you have this part here, which is uh, A8, and it's going to go on the tip like this. And a wood dowel is going to go into that hole. Get it to line up, just like that. And it will pull out with a rubber band. Now the rubber band, um, if you look at this, remember we talked about this earlier, um, the rubber band has to get onto that little tab in the middle there. So what you do is you drop it through and turn it sideways and grab the rubber band through the little slot right here and then pull the rubber band forward and then pull it onto one side. So now it's on one side. Then give the, the rubber band kind of a twist to pull it into the other into the other little notch right there. And now the uh, rubber band is still uh, through here and I want to pull it tight. Now I want to stretch it, go through the fork right there and then come around to the leg and you'll see there's a little notch right there for a rubber band and that's where it's going to go into and then it will spring out just like that okay so now the wood dowel needs to be the th a little bit wider than the thickness of the uh, of the plywood leg so you can cut it um, like about five eighths of an inch to three quarters of an inch. If it sticks out too long, that's okay. Um, it can be sanded off or you could actually leave it sticking out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mark this so that we can cut it. So here's five eighths of an inch right there. And you're going to need six of these. So you can go, go ahead and cut them all at one time, but I'm just going to do one for right now. Oops. I'm using a razor saw. But you can also use a, a hobby knife. It just takes a little bit longer to, to cut through. Where's my sanding block? You can clean up the edges. And if you uh, kind of knock off the edges on one end, kind of round it off a little bit, it makes it a little easier to put it through the hole. Oops, it dropped right through. All right, just like that. And I'm going to get some glue, paper towel, and we're going to put a fillet of glue on both sides. My glue is clogged. It's way too much glue, so I'm going to wipe it off. Okay, so that's we're going to let that dry. Um, now if you get one that's um, tight, so now this, this piece right here, I checked it a little earlier and it was tight. And it didn't want to spring out when I put the rubber band on. And what it, on this particular one, it's just catching right there. So what you're going to have to do is sand these down until they will rotate easily with the rubber band. The rubber band has to be able to pull it out. If, it, if the rubber band won't pull it out, then you need to sand it down, and then you're going to have to restain it too. 
So go ahead and check all the legs at this time to make sure that they're they can pull out easily. And if not, just sand them down like I'm doing here. Feel it, it's still a little tight right here on the, at the very tip. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this and then we'll come back and continue on in the next video.